Have you ever noticed the number of times that a native English speaker uses the word ever? Ever is an adverb that we Americans say a lot. Here's today's question from Zanoni in Venezuela. Hello, I would like to get some tips about the right usage of the adverb ever. Thanks in advance. Hello, Zanoni. There are many ways to use the word ever, but some of them are very formal, less modern, or more common in British English. So it might help more if I tell you how Americans most often use the word. There are a few ways we use it. The first way means at any time. For this meaning, we often use it in question form. Have you ever visited Zanzibar? Do you ever wonder how you will look in ten years? What is the best film you have ever seen? Note that the third example uses the superlative adjective best. We can also use ever in statements such as when you are describing something with a superlative or comparative adjective. The Ring is the best horror film I've ever seen. The cost of living is higher than it has ever been. In negative statements, we can use the term not ever to mean not at any time. But never is much more common. Listen to the following sentences that have the same meaning. He doesn't ever let his mother finish speaking. He never lets his mother finish speaking. But with negative words like nobody, no one, rarely, and hardly, we use ever instead of never. Let's listen. No one here ever cleans up after themselves. I rarely ever carry money with me. Americans also use ever in the expression ever since. It means continually or often from a past time until now, which is similar to the meaning of since. But using ever adds strength to the statement. Listen. Ever since I started stretching, my back has felt much better. You can also say it like this with the same meaning. My back has felt much better ever since I started stretching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.